<laughs> I dripped. Um, those are phenomenal right now. Holy guacamole. Anyway, hi flower friends. It's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and today I have to harvest all of these beauties because I'm hosting uh, an epic bouquet bar. It's the final kind of toast to spring and we will say goodbye to all of the spring flowers and we will be patiently waiting for those summer blooms. There are hundreds of blooms in here and I'm gonna cut them all. So also a fun thing that's happening this morning. I'm really close. I'm gonna back up. Another fun thing that's happening this morning is a friend of mine who owns a local dairy farm. It's a pretty big dairy farm. She is, um, she does this thing every June called Milk Mustache of the Day. She asked me to be uh, one of the Milk Mustaches of the Day. So she's coming here and we are going to apply a Milk Mustache and I'm going to pose for a picture that she'll post on her social media pages and it's a way to promote dairy. So anyway, I'm excited for Terry to come and uh, and she, I think it's gonna be right in here. She's gonna take my picture with the flowers. So I'm gonna start in the back with harvesting and probably start with the stock because I want some color on the sides when she comes and she'll be here later this morning. So I am gonna get started in the back with the stock and I will be in heaven as I harvest because it smells so good. Da -da -da. Oh, wow. Whoa. This section is on fire. Get off, get off. There's the only thing that's like the problem that's happening right now. Hi guys, I'm way down here. Um, is fly poop. Like flies are landing on the flowers and kind of pooping the petals a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. This is not, this is for a bouquet bar. It's not for a wedding. It's not for a florist. <gasps> this whole section right here, it's, it's pretty epic. Hey you, what's up? <laughs> Call you later. Cut you later. Oh, what? Guys, this is, uh, wait, I have to start in the back. Okay, this is what happens when I can't pay attention. Focus. Dear fly, dear fly, there's, it's, it's on the camera. I'm gonna get it. Oh, I missed it. I'm gonna, why is it sniffing my ranunculus? Do deer flies like flowers? <laughs> we have something in common. Oh, well, there's a spider on that one. You, can you get off my flower? It's just like a daddy long leg. An ode to stock. Stock, we started out a little rough. I clipped a lot of your heads off. <laughs> I was really just going for doubles. But now that I see the singles in my face, I don't care if you're a single, if you're a double, I will no longer discriminate. All I know is that I love you and you're precious to me and I will always grow you. In fact, let's do more next year. <laughs> you're gorgeous. You can go away because you're a weed. I don't like you. Reseeds everywhere. Again, the quartet series of stock is branching. Who knew? I mean, people knew. <laughs> I didn't know. It's phenomenal. I'm just cutting it all. I'm cutting it all. Maybe I'll hold this bucket in my hand whilst I have my milk mustache. Probably should have brought a bucket out here. Ooh, who needs a bucket? So a lot of people will actually just pull their stock instead of cutting it because it like, basically you can pull it and uh, it makes for a little bit easier of cleanup, etc., etc. Eh, I'm just gonna cut it. I think next year when I have the second tunnel up, I would like an entire row, an entire 50 foot row of stock. I think I can move it. Oh, the florist loved it. In fact, she wants more. So I'll have to see if I have like 10 nice stems to bring to her. Um, she really enjoyed the batch that I brought her earlier this week. Oh, hi. <laughs> Just got this right here. La da 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 La da 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 So far so good I mean so so good La da 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 La da 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 La da 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 Okay, so I just finished harvesting the stock. Let me show you the full bucket. Wow, guys. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. 
This is amazing. I can't even describe how good it smells. But I was also just uh, received a message saying that uh, Terry from the dairy farm that I was talking about, she's on her way, so she's almost here, and we're gonna do uh, the milk mustache, and she's gonna take the picture. Oh my gosh! Guys, I am seriously rethinking the amount of de dedicated space for stock next year. Oh, it's so good. You gotta be hot. This is Terry. Terry, tell them a little bit about your farm. Hi, so I'm Terry Donito. We have a dairy farm in Marcy, and uh, I do a 30 days of milk mustaches for June because it's June's Yay. dairy month, and I kind of asked Nicole to do a milk yeah. mustache for me. So, what's the secret ingredient? It's vanilla yogurt. It's yummy yogurt. Okay, <laughs> sorry. All right, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna. I, I thought I would have this in one hand and yeah. the milk in the other hand. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, cool. All right, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this? Do you want me, you want to use my phone? Like, uh, I just take your finger and schmear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be thick. It's all right. Mmm, is that good? Yeah, that's real good. Okay, <laughs> let me get this. <laughs> Maybe I should use that one. Yay! I love it. Okay, I really want to drink this. Go ahead, it's fresh. Okay, that was super fun. Um, I'm going to now start to harvest the ranunculus since I don't need it for a backdrop anymore. Um, but yeah, I am going to just start cutting. <gasps> There's a grasshopper munching away. Um, hello? Ew. Stop eating my flower. It's okay. Woo! Oh, hubby. All right, I'm gonna start cutting. This is Amandine Pink. And she's lovely. Yes, she is. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually go down and get all the pink ones. I think it's easier when setting up the bouquet bar that I have all the similar colors in the same spot. So I'm gonna go down and cut all the pinks so they're in the same bucket. Other side, we've got more. I think this looks like it was a mix. There's no rhyme or, you know what? This might've been just like the unlabeled ones that I had at the end of uh, planting them, the ones that kind of fell all over the place. Yeah, these are definitely just a hodgepodge. So I have the majority of the pinks harvested. Look at those guys. Hmm. Oh, they smell so sweet. So I have found a few earwigs in them. So I will be kind of uh, monitoring the situation, especially as I get prepared for the bouquet bar tomorrow, just to make sure there's no surprises in the flowers as people are going through them. Um, but it's the end of the season for these. There are some bugs on them. They're not florist quality anymore uh, because of the fly poop. And maybe I do see maybe a couple of earwigs. So uh, yeah but they're totally fine for a bouquet bar and I'm really excited because they are going to make some people very happy. So now I'm gonna do the yellow. You guys fell over. I will save you. And I will cut off your head. <laughs> Oh, what are you? I don't even know what you are. Oh, that is a spider carrying an inchworm. So these are more, they're creamy. I'm going to put them in the yellow section, but these are actually all supposed, that grasshopper is just sitting here. I'm trying to make it so that they're all a similar height in the bucket so that they don't get squished. So um, they don't really need, you know, these are not for a florist or anything. They don't need to be super tall. So I'm trying to keep them all a similar height, but these ones are all have a yellow hue to them as well. I 
I want to show you guys this this one that it's it's not it's not yellow it's not white it's not green it's pretty amazing this is one from the super greens mix and it's on the smaller side but it's super cool that's awesome for texture and interest in a bouquet all right I'm gonna leave these to be with the whites and oh except for that one you're coming with me and then I'm gonna move down the line Getting warm in here um we're gonna get a crazy round of storms this afternoon and i actually had to cancel the bouquet bar that was supposed to be tonight and i pushed it to tomorrow because they're saying that the potential for tornadoes is um uh, you know the conditions are kind of good for that so i just finished harvesting the yellow look at these beauties i can't even stand it oh my gosh there are so many different varieties of yellow different shades different um, this one's like a picote with a little bit of pink on it. Um, there are several of those. I have the cream ones. These are called the Amandine Cream. I have the Amandine Yellow. And then I also have Super Greens, which are a little bit of a cream with the green in the middle. And then I have the picote ones, which are um, flecks of pink with that light yellow. And then I have these dark ones. I don't know. These were in the mix. So I'm not sure what they are. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, pretty, pretty. Yellow and pink. I think white's next, but I also want to harvest the crests. I'm a little too close to the camera, I know it. Um, I'm gonna harvest the crests because it's kind of in the way of some yellow ones. So I'm gonna start cutting on this. There's so much, so much crests. It's also um, on the ground. Like I, a lot of it started to kind of uh, fall over. So I'm gonna cut this and put it in buckets. I actually think I'm gonna use the five gallon bucket for this because it's super tall. So crest is good for uh, harvesting and drying, and it's also good for fresh cuts. You're supposed to wait until the seed pods mature. Like, oops, I accidentally cut that one. Uh, but they make a great filler. And also they make pretty wreaths too. This is me trying to recreate the Johnny's picture from the catalog <laughs> um, in the wind. It's super windy out. Okay, so I finished cutting a bucket full of the Persian crests and then I had to run into town um, for some insurance paperwork and now I'm back and as you can see, I still have to grab the white. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the white. There are many sections of it right now to grab. I changed my clothes, that's right. These are some lovelies. These, technically, these were the super greens cream, um, but you know what? I, they're just not as super greens as I like, but they're still lovely. Gorgeous. Some of these are a little bit too far gone, um, but I am gonna cut a few. These three look great. These ones are not even open yet. I'm gonna go ahead and cut those. A couple more in here that aren't open yet. Oh, these ones are just lovely. Just watering the Lysianthus. Woo, winds are picking up. Storm's coming. Storm's are brewing. So I have a few anemones to cut, and I will do that now. We have some of the Galilee white with dark centers. I have a hot pinky pink. I have one purple. So these will be a little bit of a hot commodity. I only have a few. They're on their last leg. Here's a pink one that's just perfect. I really wish I kept up with these because I could have cut so many more from this patch. It was my experiment for the year with the hoop house. 
And that's about it for the anemones. The fever few is coming. The snapdragons are coming. I can actually cut some of these. Um, I don't want to do them too tall though, because that's kind of overkill. That's like florist height. Um, these bouquets are not going to be that tall. I do believe this is a rocket mix. So there's a whole bunch of colors in here. All different ones. Oh, oh, I can't see. Okay, thank you. Here are the white slash little bit of baby pink slash a little bit of yellow. <laughs> and there are some snapdragons in there and then some anemones that I harvested. Where's my, my microphone? Okay, so there. That's about, well, I don't know. I, I'm gonna do some oranges and some salmons uh, and then like the random colors. There's a few chocolate and there's some black ones as well. So I'm gonna get one more bucket of randoms and then I'm all set for the bouquet bar because this is enough to probably make 25 to 30 bouquets and that's exactly what I need. I just did a whole outro and I just realized my microphone wasn't even on. So what I said was that I was gonna harvest poppies <laughs> and I grabbed these ones. This one just cracked open, it's beautiful. Just a few, just for fun. They're so fresh and delicious. And the rest I'm letting go to turn into pods to use those later on in the season. But I am so impressed with the flowers that are coming out of this hoop house. Obviously it still looks like it has a ton of flowers in here, which it does, but a lot of these flowers are bug damaged or just past their prime and I don't wanna sell them. So that's okay. These are gonna be uh, ripped out of here soon and uh, put in a new crop, so for the summer. And I am uh, might harvest this Orlea. I might not, I'm not sure, <sighs> I'm tired. So I am gonna go ahead and probably put the sides down on this tunnel because uh, the winds are starting to pick up and it's gonna be some pretty severe weather. So I was supposed to have the bouquet brought tonight, but like I said, I postponed it until tomorrow. So hopefully people won't be pulling in my driveway tonight anyway. I've updated all my social media accounts, but we will see. I will have to let people know that I'll do another post right now, just a reminder no bouquet bar tonight. I'll be bringing you guys to the bouquet bar as well in another video. So thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon. Tarnish plant bug. Go away. Go ahead. Fly. I'll kill you. I will find you and I will gut you like a fish. So I'm putting these in with here. It's no big deal. I wasn't saying anything naughty. At night I think of you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>